All right, guys, got another uh, quick repair video for you. Uh, if you ever had something break, the bolt breaks off in the hole, and it's all boogered up, and uh, you know just drilling it out is not going to do it. Well, they make this thing. These things are called helicoils right here. Uh, this brand, they're calling it an OEM Fix-A-Thread. <clears throat> but basically what it is is you drill out the hole to a certain size, they give you a tap here, you tap it out, and then you take this tool and you put the uh, helicoil on the end of it and you, you thread it down into the hole. It threads into the threads that you've cut and there's threads on the inside of the helicoil that replace the old threads. Therefore you got a brand new hole. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. And all you need is your uh, fix a thread or helicoil kit, the proper size drill bit that it tells you to use, and drill. So let's get at it. All right, so just to show you guys what we're repairing here, I'm um, a pickup truck here. The uh, four-wheel drive with the worn hub bolts on right here. Uh, what happened is I think these got loose, and with all the torque and stress. Using the four-wheel drive last time I had it out, it sheared off all of these studs. So, about a quarter of an inch down in each hole is uh, an old stud that's stuck in there. So, we're going to drill it all out. We're going to put a new uh, insert in there. And we'll call it a day. Alright, this one calls for a 21 64th drill bit. Right there. And make sure you're using an actual metal drill bit because uh, wood one's not going to cut it for this. It's, any uh, fasteners, especially drivetrain stuff, is always hardened steel. So, spend the extra couple bucks on a good drill bit because you're going to need it. Alright, so we got our hole drilled, uh, and the one thing I want to mention about when you're drilling the hole, make sure you don't drill it too deep, uh, sometimes there's stuff behind there, you don't want to drill into like a water jacket, something like that if you're doing work on an engine. I checked it by using the stud that's going to go in the hole, that's perfect, so I know the hole's deep enough, and it's not too deep. Uh, so the next thing you do, open your package, and uh, you're going to have a tap, which is this thing right here. What this does is it cuts new threads into the the uh, metal that's left here. And uh, this kit has got a nice little, the, the tool you use to actually put the new threads in. Also has a, a thing to use for your uh, tapper. So if you if you have a tap driver, you can use that. This comes with uh, it built into the handle. It's made out of plastic. I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. See how good it works. Uh, I got enough room to get it in here, so we'll see how that goes. All right. So basically, the biggest thing is when you start this th these threads, you want to try and get it as straight as you possibly can. Uh, the hole will kind of straighten you out if you're a little bit crooked, but it's better off to get it as straight as you can to start with. Uh, another thing you can do is uh, spray a little lubricant on here. This helps helps the threads cut a little better. WD-40, a couple drops of uh, this regular motor oil on the threads before you put it in there is fine too. I already pre-lubed these so it's not too big of a deal. So you're going to turn this in and it's a little bit more difficult to turn than, it's about like turning like a rusty bolt basically. It's not like turning a fresh green screw because you are cutting those threads. Then you turn it a few and then you can Back it out, and uh, if you look into the, the grooves on your tap here, you'll see all that metal that's coming out of there. That's just the, the metal being cut. Sometimes, if it gets harder to turn, you can turn it in, turn it out, turn it in, turn it out. Kind of just cleans the, uh, the threads. When you start it back in, you want to make sure you're kind of, it'll screw in a lot easier because you've got those threads there. Make sure you're going into the the threads you don't want to cross thread your your uh, 
tap here because <laughs> then you get it really boogered up. So turn that in. Yeah, I'm not really liking this plastic handle. It's kind of feels like it could break. All right, so once it stops, you're at the bottom of your uh, hole. Don't force it. Um, you're just going to break stuff. Uh, you don't want to break your tap off in your hole. That would not be good. So you screw this out just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. You got a nice set of threads in there. All right. So we're not done yet. Because obviously, this hole is too big for the stud. It's not going to screw in there. It's not going to hold it. So, the next thing you need is your, your insert, thread insert. Try and get the camera to focus on that. Basically, all it is is a uh, it's threads into the threads you just made on the outside, and the inside of these threads are oops, dropped it. The inside of this is the right size for the the stud that you're the bolt or whatever you're trying to put in there, the fastener. It'll screw into there. So once this threads in there. This can thread in there, and this is just as strong, if not stronger, than the original thread that you had. So, the way you thread that in there is this tool right here. You just slide this over with this part facing out and into the slot. And once you thread this in so far, this is just going to break right off, and you're going to have new threads in there. And don't forget, lock tight everything in place, because you don't want this backing out. So, oh crap. Got to open this. Alright, so I got the lock tight on there. Got it open. Put a little dab on there. Let me make sure I'm going to do this. Correctly. Yep, blah 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 blah. Alrighty, so it says once you screwed this in, just like this, bam. We're screwing that in there. We're putting new threads in. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fixed. We're going to be the man. So thread that sucker down. Let's thread it down. All right. Now. Now you still got that little uh little tang sticking out on there. You can see that? Can you see it? So, yep. Yeah. All right. So it says to uh turn this 90 degrees. Push down sharply. All right. Well, it looks like it's kind of bent down in there. All right. Let's see how that. Uh you stud threads in there. Look at that. Like a boss. Holy cow. Alright, ta-da! There we go. And that's how you fix a uh, broken bowl hole. Tune in later for more cool fixing stuff. Bye.